So here we are in Pyramid Head. This had a serious industrial accident and we are in the worst possible scenario imaginable. Look at this dude. It kind of looks like a B1 tear that got pixelated, like had been screenshotted and uploaded far too many times as a JPEG. This, this is the JPEG version of the B1 tear when it used to be a 10 megabyte PNG file. This is my time. This is it. Ah. Salut and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a one and done. Actually, this is actually a two and done because that first game you saw in the intro my game crashed after I died and I never managed to get back into the battle so I had to reset and lo and behold we got the exact same map. Now this godforsaken lineup has been suggested by the user Verizon who is no longer my friend or VIP in my Twitch channel because of it and there's a very good reason for our lack of friendship. This is probably the worst lineup in the entire game and the vehicle you're looking at here it's so bad this is literally the worst tank in all of War Thunder. Just even looking at an APCR round is enough to make me mad. And this is definitely the worst ammunition type other than machine gun in all of existence. Now on face value, it doesn't look that bad. But in practice, this thing is god awful. How this vehicle is a, not a reserve tier tank, I will never know. If you look at the armor here, it looks pretty decent, but 40mm is only really enough to stop it killing itself. However, things do look a little bit better when we look at the other tanks. This thing here has a battering ram for going in reverse, which is very fitting for a French tank. And the 37mm isn't a bad gun at all for this battle rain. And this little guy was just introduced recently. He's a very good boy. It's pretty fast. And it's got a decent gun too. A much better round for penetrating things. 190 meters per second as well. Very good for sniping. And can take out even heavy armor. Survivability isn't bad either with four crew members inside here. Although we can be penned by 50 cals. It does take quite a bit of doing to get rid of this thing. And luckily this nice little gun is placed in this bad boy as well. This is the AMR 35ZT3. Lots of numbers involved with these tanks. This is a tank destroyer, has practically no armor at all, but it can get around the battlefield pretty quickly and deal with anything we'll come across. And now to the aircraft. Quite possibly the worst reserve tier planes in the game. Let me give you a comparison. Here is the Chinese reserve tier I-15 bis. It turns better. It's actually an arguably better energy fighter. It's got four decent machine guns and for ground targets, you have unlockable RBS-82 rockets. And I think the only reason these are reserved here is because reserved tier negative two just doesn't exist. All right, let's go see how I did on the second game. Uh, I was just literally thinking, like, as I was loading in, please don't be Kuban. And yeah, it's Kuban and it's a full up tier. This is cool. So I've got rid of that stupid pyramid tank for my first spawn because it literally can't do anything. APCR it reserved here. Meanwhile, Sweden APDS and Russia BT5 45mm with HE filler. <laughs> like, I don't understand these battle ratings in the slightest. Oh, here we go. Wheeled vehicle suffering has begun, dude. It's begun. Come on. Get over there. God, this tank's gun handling is probably as bad as the Zoot or what is it called? Shoot 37. Right, we made it halfway across the battlefield. And I still... Oh, I hear things. What's going on over there? <gasps> There's enemies here. 
No, those are rocks. The joys of colorblindness. Where are all the enemies, dude? There must be one somewhere. Like a single tank. Anywhere at all. Stuart maybe fight. Oh, okay. There's a Italian boy over here somewhere. We found them. At least some of them. Only his gunner. Okay, he's dead. Where did this murder go? Oh. Uh -huh. Hans a Jäger. Driver. Can't see this guy because of the lighting. God, dude. I hate being blind. There we go. Okay, two kills. This is actually a good tank, though, and I'm actually. This is cheating. But funny enough, that, uh, that Panzer on that hill, if we had the Pyramid Head tank, we wouldn't have been able to kill him at all. We'd need to wait until he faced us directly or it gave us a side shot. Meanwhile, he shoots us anywhere. All these enemies must be over near sea. So we're crossing. We're crossing over. Oh no. What the hell is that? Is that that Italian SPAA? Did he just jump off the cliff? You know what? Why? Why did that stop me so hard, the first little bump? If this is the SPAA, he can look this straight up. Oh no. Yeah, no, there he's there. <laughs> there he's there. No fun memes for me, dude. No fun allowed. Oh my god, dude. Same BR. I normally would take a plane, but there's no actual... Okay. I can't do anything on the ground with these at all. Right, here we go. Useless tank number two. One day we'll grow up to be a beautiful boy. Until that day, we have to spend the time driving up a hill. Our enemy is already doing capture the flag, and here we are. Full speed ahead. There's something on B with our teammate. And we'll get there by Thursday. Hopefully he's still alive by then. No, something is on A now. So, I don't think the French retreated in World War II. I just think they tried to drive up a hill and then it fell back down again. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, Commander Gunner's out and I mean, honestly, the... Okay, we can't even go through there. A Japanese tank is kind of like an easy one for us. I feel guilty because he's just trying to get research points. Can't even get gun elevation to shoot him down. There's just 20 millimeters everywhere.
Something coming this way. I think there's also something to my right. Go away. Oh god. We, you, we actually can't do any post pen damage to this little tank. Like, enough to one shot him. Meanwhile, if he just hit me in the right place, we would have been dead. <laughs> and I'm hitting him exactly where I need to hit him. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm, 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 I'm not surprised we got three kills because we're really playing against newer players. Which is, this is kind of like the balancing factor, right? Oh. Oh my god, dude. I, can't, well, I don't know why I'm doing this stupid challenge. See another thing about this, like, tank? Look at this smoke, dude. Look at this. Why does it need to be like this? <laughs> why can't it just be normal exhaust smoke size like any other tank? But just to, just to make France even worse, yeah, this is, this is how it goes. I swear, right? So, I don't know, maybe Anton's dad was French and he left him at a young age and that's why he hates French tanks and that's why they're the way they are. Yep, there's a flag panzer. 20 rounds of HVAP versus my one and all he has to do is at one of my two crew members <laughs> an SPAA <laughs> come on dude I was like a sick Tony Hawk trick or something I just did oh, I guess we're going to I'll be the flag pans up that's not a flag panzer up there though. Ghost shell. That one was just a bad shot that time. I'm critical though. Can I shoot through that window? Oh, hello. Undamaged. Oh, we're dead. He missed me. Here comes the artillery dust. Right. Thankfully, we got the real Gandalf. But now he's going to be Gandalf the White. He come back and smack us around. What is that noise? What's that? I was going to say, no one killed that flag panzer. He was right there. There's a guy up there. Oh, he just got shot at by something. Oh, here we go, it's 20 mils again. Nope. No, it was an L3. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. You almost killed me too. Do we count as a tank yet? I don't think we do. There are not very many enemies left. Gaijin's really messed our sound engine up again. I've got a sound coming out of my left ear sometimes and then extreme right ear. Which is really bad for me because I don't have a left ear anymore. Oh. Yeah. The, there's a guy sniping across the entire map. He has all the cabs now. Allied forces have captured a zone. 
No! Gandalf's back! Got an M8 fighting here as well. Oh yeah, he's actually up next to him. He's probably winning that actually. Yeah. Oh, there's another one up here though. Uh oh. No ideal. He's being decapped by the real Gandalf again, I'm pretty sure. Who are you? Italian. Uh, I killed a plane somehow. Not sure that's right. <laughs> what are you doing? He's been very clever about this. Wiggly boy. I'm trying to get his transmission or something. Just to make him stop. Oh, he's dead. Oh well, there we go. Finally. <laughs> GG. Never. Again. And by the way, the real Gandalf messaged me to say, Nice shot. But I told him... Then it wasn't, and of course I said the GG, <laughs> because I think I laid about 10 shots into that poor guy, I just couldn't kill him, and that was like, what, three times? Yeah, he did a way better job than I did. But yeah, if you have any more challenge videos for me, or any lineups you'd like me to try, I generally pay attention to people who are really polite about it, or put some sort of constructive reason why I should bring the lineup out, and yeah, that would be the preferred thing. I will pay attention to somebody who puts more effort into requesting something rather than just say play this tank please but yeah the one and dones are actually my favorite ones to do so if you have any other lineups definitely put them in the comments below if you have any challenges then yeah like i said just fire it in the comments and i will definitely sift through and have a look as you know i've had some problems yesterday with my internet i apologize for that that's the reason for the two videos today but hopefully i can do a one and done every couple of days probably and we can do two videos a day for one day and then one video a day for every alternating day i can't stress enough how much i enjoy doing these videos and looking at your guys reactions in the comments etc so don't feel too bad about it i really like doing it anyway thank you guys very much for watching much love and bye bye